Сьогодні 24 лютого 2024 року, друга річниця війни. Ми маємо тут, в Варшаві, 155 ралі в акцію підтримки України. На жаль, в Україні далі проходить війна і гинуть люди. Дуже багато дітей, які викрадено і яких ще далі не знайдено. Ми знаємо, що сьогодні Джастін Трудо прилетів до Києва і підтримав нас, підтримав Україну, підписав угоду з нашим президентом Зеленським на підтримку у 3 мільярди доларів. Ми цьому дуже сильно вдячні. Ми також закликаємо усіх далі пам'ятати, що війна далі проходить в Україні, і кожен із вас, і долучатися до таких акцій підтримки України, і також робити все від себе можливо, щоб швидше зупинити цю війну. Також розмовляти із урядовцями, єднатися, приходити до церкви, молитися за Україну, бо тільки разом ми можемо перемогти. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Нині громада в Ушаві, в Дюрем Ріджен, зібралися тут, щоб відзначити гідно і вшанувати наших героїв на Україні, що борються за незалежність України, держави, народу вже другий рік. Сьогодні є 731 день боротьби. Ми є вдячні, що громада нас підтримала, прийшли на цей міст героїв і разом з нами Звертають увагу на людей нашої місцевості, які підтримують нас не лише морально, але й фінансово. Ми дякуємо всім і запрошуємо всіх звертатися до нас, складати свої пожертви на Збройні сили України, на допомогу воїнам, їхнім родинам і сиротам. Так нам допоможе Боже.
Христос, істинний Бог наш, молитвами Пречистої своєї матері, молитвами святого великомученика і чудотворця Юрія, переможця, якого храм цей чесний всіх святих, помилуй, спасе нас, як благий і чоловіко любе. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Щиро дякуємо, що зібралися. Особливо хочу подякувати отцю Ганчарику, отцю Білинському за те, що у стінах вашої церкви ми тут сьогодні могли зібратися. Також щиро дякую пастору Пітеру за усю вашу разом з отцем Ганчариком і Білинським спільну молитву. Адже разом ми зможемо перемогти. Разом до перемоги! До перемоги! Все чесніші отці, вельмо шановні добродіки, почесні гості, святочна громада, спешл гест, ladies and gentlemen, children, вітаємо, welcome, слава Україні! Героям слава! In the face of hardship, the generosity of our community here in the Oshawa-Durham region has been a beacon of light, reassuring, helping, and renewing a sense of hope. In cooperation with the Congress of, Ukrainian, Congress of Ukrainians of Canada, led by the President, Katerina Rahovska, who you just heard a few minutes ago, and the Community Building Committee, led by the now principal of the Ukrainian school here in Oshawa, led by Natalka Rozhelyuk. Thank you to all members of the community who accepted the responsibility to stand with Ukraine on the Highway of Heroes, 401, just as we did today. Do you know how many cars pass by on the 401? Every day, thousands. And we've been doing this for two years. Today was an amazing exception, and we appreciate the numbers. And from a grateful nation, Ukraine, allow me to thank you. Всім жертводавцям за фінансову підтримку Збройним силам України через Фонд приятелів Збройних сил. Від лютого 2022 року до грудня 2023 року Фонд Дніпро-Ошава разом з вами, з громадою, передали понад 300 тисяч 880 доларів. Це допомога Збройним силам воїнам, їхнім родинам і сиротам. За цілий 23 рік, що щойно закінчився, громада передала 59 500 доларів. Дякуємо рівно ж сумівській групі «Хвилі Гніпро», котрі під час різняних свят зібрали коляду та передали 2800 доларів на Фонд Збройних сил України. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine's heroes. Slava Ukraini. I'd like to draw your attention to one very special person here with us. This young man is a Canadian, not of Ukrainian descent. And he has spent, he did spend one year in Ukraine during the winter. He's going back to serve again in Ukraine. This time in August, is it a little warmer? Yeah. to thank uh, for all the work they've done in the last two years. Uh, today I'd like to thank Zanya Yerutsaba and 
James Dawson. They made those beautiful banners for us that we were holding out there. Um, we hope that most, more of you can show up tomorrow. That'd be great. Uh, we also like to thank two very special people. There's tons of people to thank, but these two people have come out every single week and they've done a lot of good things for the community in general. Um, Katerina and Darka. Vid imini uchasniki of Nashu Spilnote, stand with Ukraine Musta Oshava. Yahacho Stiro Podjakovate Vam Zavasha Nislamu Pitrimko, Tavinatkovo, Prisvichenish, Ividanish Koshno Hatishna. On behalf of the Stand with Ukraine Oshawa Bridge community, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to both of you for your unwavering support, exceptional commitment, and dedication every single week. Your tireless efforts have been instrumental in keeping us organized, informed, and recognized in the community. Thank you for all that you do. the next room to avoid congestion because you know how crowded it is in here and we were able to get the postcards and the flag with the help of two very special people they are with us and they're going to help us coordinate even further and they are Helen and Mikhailo Ivanovich Доброго вечора, мене звуть Мія, і я намалювала це для наших хлопців. Я намалювала море і закат, тому що наші хлопці дуже давно не бачили море. Якби тут, якщо хтось бачить, то якби хтось з наших хлопців. І тут якби пес патрон сидить, чи якийсь песик. І це дуже, я, я себе чула, як я вже знала, як це малювати з душою для когось того, хто захищає нас. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Good afternoon. We're here with Brandon Boisvert, who is a Canadian from Oshawa, Ontario. And uh, he volunteered uh, as an individual to uh, go to Ukraine and uh, fight with the armed forces. Um, Brandon, uh, just a couple of questions. Uh, people want to know, what motivated you as a Canadian to get up and go physically to Ukraine and, and fight? Well, I believe strongly that uh, every country, every person uh, has the right to self-determination, to be free and to determine for themselves what direction they want to take their lives. Uh, that's something that Russia doesn't even afford to its own people. So it, it makes sense that they try to enslave others doing the exact same thing. Um, in 2014, uh, with the Maidan Revolution, it was very clear what the people wanted, and they wanted to be free of Russian influence, they wanted to be free of corruption, they wanted to be free of this post-Soviet culture that has taken root, and they spoke very clearly. And having this kind of decision forced on them by, by Russia it's not acceptable, it's not something that should be tolerated, and it is up to individuals sometimes to act when other countries can't act for a number of reasons. Uh, at the end of the day, it is the right thing to do, and unfortunately, sometimes violence is necessary for the right reasons that espouses tr some true Canadian values. And, and we also wanted to ask, Brandon, um, <clears throat> your personal impression when you, when you saw uh, things that you've seen in Ukraine, that the loss you know, f of friends, um, people's lives being destroyed, their, their, um, their homes being destroyed, what, what was your impression seeing this with your own two eyes? Of 
course, like uh, any war is like that, whether it's Afghanistan, Israel, or in Ukraine. Uh, what made it unique for me was that I was personally involved. I met a wide variety of individuals, some from even you know other parts of the world, not from Ukraine. Uh, everybody knew that this was the right thing to do and it didn't matter uh, what the potential consequences were whether it was harm or, or death it was everyone knew that this is the place to be because it is the right place to be it, it's it's unfortunate that a lot of my friends are no longer with me anymore uh, others have given up a, a lot, uh, physically, mentally, and I'm fortunate that I, I have not been wounded at all, um, and mentally I'm perfectly fine, uh, and again, like not everybody that I know had that benefit, uh, but unfortunately like there, there's civilians that don't have any choice. Uh, when you know, the, the, the major missile attacks happened uh, in October of 2022. One of the first places that were hit was a playground in Kyiv. And kids don't have a choice. They don't have any say in what happens around them. They're completely dependent on adults to make their own decisions for them. And it's unfortunate to see many of the victims of this war are not fighting age males, Russian or Ukrainian. They're children, they're older people. It's just there's so much that has been affected by this war. Uh, populations in Africa, for example, back when the grain was being stopped from leaving Ukraine. It, there's so many cascading effects as a result of this war. And you know, right now Ukraine is acting as the shield of Europe. And when I first went there, I wanted to make sure she had a sword. Brandon, I wish to thank you for your service to Ukraine. And I hope that your efforts have a great deal of uh, consequence to the outcome, uh, the ultimate outcome of peace that we're all looking for. So do I. Thank you very much, Brandon.